Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of From Scratch. So just like last time, I've got your ideas in this box right here. I'm going to pull out a random one and try to create that in one hour. So let's see what we get. Thanks for the great ideas, by the way. Some really awesome stuff, and I'm looking forward to eventually making all of these. Let's see what we got. Woo! Zelda Dungeon. I am really excited about this one. I mean, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I'm a huge Zelda fan. So I was really looking forward to this one, and I'm so glad I got it. Where do we start? When I think about Zelda Dungeons, Zelda Dungeon music, I think about very atmospheric music, kind of spacious. A lot of mysterious chords and arpeggios. So I'm actually, I think I'll start with the piano and try to come up with some mysterious sounding chord progression. Let's do that. Gonna record that. Now the question is, do I record this to a click or do I keep it, you know, free time-wise? I think I will try to record it to a click so I have the option of adding drums to it if I want. I'm gonna start with that, start adding new layers to that. So I'm going to step over to the Prophet 6 right here, try to create something atmospheric with it. That beautiful sound, atmospheric. Gotta wobble that pitch, baby. So I've been messing with the Prophet for a few minutes now, and this is the melody I've come up with. I'm going to record it now. I like it. At least I think I do. You know, sometimes you write something and then you listen to it again the next day and you're just like, what was I even thinking? But I think I like this and I'm going to add some delay to that, some more effects. Let's move to the Prophet X and try to add some more atmospheric, interesting, mysterious sounds to that. Got this sound right here, which is a um, bowed marimba, apparently. And I'm gonna double the melody with it. Let's see how that goes. So I only doubled it the second time. It's kind of subtle, but it adds something extra there. I think I'm gonna try adding some kind of drum beat. It's not gonna be something too intense. I want it to be pretty soft. So I'm gonna go to Native Instrument Battery, which I use a lot. Usually I just play back the track, audition samples, hear how they blend in with the track, and then just start dragging the ones that sound decent into the different slots. Then map them either to the buttons if I'm doing like a live thing, or in this case to the keyboard. Start with something simple, this kick, this snare, and this door shutting sound effect. Oh, 
Okay, so I recorded myself playing the beat. Now I'm going to start adding some effects and maybe filter everything so it kind of sits really behind in the mix, really soft and kind of far away. I want to try to add some sound effects using the microphone, maybe some crumpled paper or something, just to add a little more kind of creepiness and atmosphere to this. Let's see, I'll be right back. So I've brought a plastic bag and a piece of paper. I'm gonna try to record just some ambient noise. So first I just did some kind of random noise, but then I tried to play with a track and do something a little rhythmic. I'm gonna try side chaining the drum beat to this plastic bag noise so that every time the kick and the snare hit, that'll duck. But then when there's space, you'll hear that plastic bag. Okay, the noise is there. I'm not sure if it's something I'd want to use or not, but it's an option. I'm going to copy the whole thing twice and not have drums the first time, and then the drums will come in. Time to add some kind of bass for when the drums come in. Something, once again, nice and soft and round and subtle, and all those pretty words. Just like that. Don't you love that? It's so soft and warm. It's just so beautiful. So I ended up going with a pretty rhythmic bass because there's so much space I wanted to keep that space I didn't want to just have like bass notes playing throughout the whole thing Had to add that At the end before it loops. I think it's pretty interesting We don't have much time left, so I do want to add something else with the Prophet, maybe some fast arpeggios. Okay guys, we're almost out of time. I want to add just one more thing. Um, some strings or some pad just to kind of glue everything together and that'll be it. All right, my friends, this is it. Our hour is up and this is the Zelda dungeon music that we have come up with. I'll put a link in the description to the playlist for this series. So if you haven't seen the other episodes, I highly recommend you check them out. Also, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. I very much appreciate that. All right, guys, let's have a listen. Here we go.
doesn't that make you feel like pushing some blocks and solving some puzzles and stepping on huge switches? I don't know. I, I think it does. See you next time.